Now that the unity flames have died down, I think we should discuss this. Is it really wise to switch to Godot? And if so, which language should we use? C Sharp or GD Script? I switched from Unity to Godot a few months ago, and I know how hard it can be to switch from something that you've grown accustomed to, to something completely new. Someone wise once said, change is always hard at first, but it gets easier as you grow and learn to adapt, or something along those lines. At the time of making this video, with what I believe to be the last change to Unity's pricing policies, I think that Unity users are safe at least for the time being, but who really knows? By the end of this video, I hope that I can help you decide if making the switch is worth it. And if so, should you use C Sharp or GDScript with the Godot game engine? My channel is more tailored to beginners like me, but if you're a seasoned pro, I encourage you to stay with us and feel free to weigh in and share your valuable thoughts in the comments. If you're a beginner, and thinking about switching from Unity to Godot, one of the biggest questions on your mind should be, should I use GDScript or C Sharp? So just to be clear, this is not an actual step-by-step -step guide. It's just some points on the use of C Sharp and GDScript within Godot. And I have put links to all the things that I talk about in the description. I would also like to stress that instead of trying to brute force your way into Godot, coming from Unity by trying to use C-Sharp right away? You should keep an open mind, adjust your expectations, try not to focus on Godot's flaws or the way that Godot does things differently from Unity, but rather try to focus on learning the way that Godot works. Godot is a much younger engine than Unity, and it is totally free and open source. Some even claim that it has the potential to be to game dev what Blender is to 3D modeling. Although it may not have all the bells and whistles that you may be used to in Unity, as a plus, it has a lot less bloatware. Though C Sharp is supported, it is not fully integrated at the time of making this video. According to Godot's documentation, projects written in C Sharp using Godot 4 currently cannot be exported to Android, iOS, and web platforms. To use C Sharp on these platforms, you will need to use Godot 3 instead. So where do we start? You will need to download and install the correct version of Godot. Simply go to godotengine.org and download the latest .NET version of Godot. At the time of making this video, the latest .NET version of Godot is 4.1.1. However, if you plan on making a mobile build, then you'll need to get the .NET version of Godot 3.5.2. You will need the Godot engine with .NET support to be able to use C Sharp. Remember that when using C Sharp with Godot 4, only Windows builds are supported at the time of making this video. To use C Sharp, you'll need an external editor. These are the supported editors according to Godot's documentation, which covers the installation process quite well. However, if you choose to use GDScript, the built-in editor is all that you'll need. This process of setting up Godot to be able to debug your c -sharp code can be quite daunting for a beginner. Believe me, I've tried. But if you have the patience and the time and want to see how it's done in detail, Mike from Game From Scratch has a great video on how it's done. But really, for someone just starting out with Godot, both beginners and more advanced c -sharp developers alike, I would suggest just using GDScript as you first get started. Find your footing around the Godot game engine ecosystem. I say this because Godot has lots of passionate developers that have made assets for use within Godot, and by experimenting with them, you may find something useful. And while Godot offers both C Sharp and GDScript within the same project, this adds a level of complexity that in my opinion, is just not worth it when you're just getting started and making the switch. While porting your Unity game to Godot looks great on the surface, I believe that it will come with its own set of challenges. I mean, there is C-Sharp support, but you can't just copy and paste your code over. It does not work that way. If your project is near completion, you would want to really seriously consider whether it's worth it to start over or just continue and finish your project. 
and consider it at a later date as the porting process becomes more streamlined. Unity follows a more traditional game development approach, with a focus on components and systems, utilizing game objects and prefabs to make scenes. Godot, however, embraces a more scene-centric approach, emphasizing modularity and reusability of scenes and nodes. It uses nodes to make scenes, and these scenes can exist in other scenes which can make up levels in your game. In Unity, you have the flexibility to attach multiple scripts to the same game object. This capability allows developers to divide the behavior of game objects into discrete sections or categories, making it easy to manage complex interactions and functions. Nodes in Godot embrace a component-based approach. This concept is one that many Unity developers tend to struggle with when they first make the change. You cannot add multiple scripts directly to a single node in Godot. The engine encourages a component-based approach. In Godot, when you create a node, you can create child nodes, each with its own script, and attach them to a parent node. This approach closely resembles the concept of game object composition used in Unity as well. But in Godot, each child node with its script can be seen as a component that contributes to the overall behavior of the parent node. By organizing nodes and scripts in this way, a similar result can be achieved as it would be in Unity with multiple scripts on a single game object. The process of transferring assets, scenes, and game objects from Unity to Godot can be time-consuming and prone to error. Also, you will want to double-check and even triple-check that you have the proper license and permissions to use the assets that you may have gotten from Unity in other game engines. The last thing that you want is to have to deal with that stress on top of everything else. These are just some of the main differences that stand out to me. Let's discuss this in the comments. I would love to know what differences you have found. What sticks out the most to you? Or what are the things that you just can't get your head around? Now that Unity has walked back most of those impossible and unfair policies, it's time to make the decision. Remember that transitioning between game engines while making your game is a substantial undertaking that requires careful planning, testing, and potentially reworking various aspects of your game. It's essential to thoroughly understand both Unity and Godot to ensure a successful migration. Additionally, consider the potential benefits of switching to Godot, such as its open source nature and its growing community support, which, in my opinion, can outweigh the challenges in the long run. Thanks for watching, and catch me in my next video. Oh, and if you like this one, you may want to check out one of these other videos.